Welcome back, everybody, to another Chad and Russ series, this time for the Late Shift, an FMV game. Yeah, I uh, I streamed this originally back uh, like two years ago, and I did I liked it. It wasn't amazing, but it was it was it was cool seeing it done this way. Um, <clears throat> and the main reason I want to do this is because the uh, they have another game out called uh, what's it called? The Complex. The Complex. Yeah, and uh, that looked really good with and Katie really from wanted... uh, uh, Letterkenny. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, um, that's when exciting. You I have a question. When you streamed it, did you stream it on Mixer? I didn't. Oh, no, poor Mixer. No, not at all. That's just sad to see now. Yeah. All right. Well, so uh, I guess this one can branch in a lot of different ways. So yeah, don't tell me which ways you went. Oh, I um, don't remember. <laughs> if you if you do remember, don't tell me. We'll just see where the the game goes. I guarantee you, I remember not a single scene from this. <laughs> I believe it. All right, here we go. New game, late shift. Let's start this. Good logo. Yeah. Not That's as a... good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's the same beginning shot as the quiet man. <laughs> oh no! All of the audio goes out. <laughs> you just hear. Love some bigger picture. Ooh. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. Oh, yeah, they even treat it like a movie. Open. Opening credits and such. No yeah, his voice is very low in the mix. Good thing we have subtitles going. Yeah. I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Ah, uh, real edge lord we got going here. Never stop. And he's just telling you the facts. Joe Sower Butts! Yes! I'm so oh, glad Joe, Joe. Joe Sower Butts is in this. Sower or Sour Butts? <laughs> oh man, poor Joe. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, selfish! What? No! <laughs> Wait, what did I just change? What did I do? I know I didn't pick that because I played it the way that I would normally play these oh, games. Oh no! So, so no, just, so this is good. Did, did this just turn into an asshole playthrough? It might have. All right, I think that's how I'm starting. That's how I'm gonna try and go with this. Yeah, just go aggressive. No, nah, it's not that. It's just it. Asshole sometimes means to just stand back and do nothing. You know? Look, I'm gonna board. I'm sorry, mate. That's much right. Bond Street. Yeah. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just you missed your train! Really? Alright, hang on, hang on. His voice is so low! It really is. Like, I want to turn the volume up, but the music's so loud. I, I'm gonna check the audio stuff in a sec. Try pausing it now. Yeah, is this use controller? I don't remember. Yes, it does. What do you know? All right, music down. My God, it's so loud. I go to like <laughs> seventy. Uh, it's still pretty loud. What the? Yeah. Come on. I re go. I kind of remember having this issue too. All right, we're gonna go fifty, and yeah, that's that's more reasonable. Now I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah. In Windows Audio, a little better. Tobias Weber. He ain't no sour butt. <laughs> right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. All uh, right. I bet, I bet it will be. I bet nothing happens. We just do our job. Yeah, no, just a parking lot attendant doing his thing. Real likable guy I am so far. You know, he's just yeah, you know, he's bored of life. He's, he's he needs excitement. And here they are. Oh, the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. <gasps> See, with a bunch of metal bimbos. Oh jeez. Oh, hey. oh. <laughs> a bunch of metal <laughs> bimbos. For over a decade. Come on. Uh, 
See, I've always been the type, like, I see a car like that, I just kind of want to smash it. Yeah. Take a bat to it and just start yeah, destroying those, it. Those do nothing for me. Nah. Now yeah, you give me a hearse. With his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car. That's right, governor! <laughs> We we made a judgment based on gender. Oh no! You know, uh, fuck. What have we done? You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions. That's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like yep. a pig in a suit. Disgusting. Not how I would have done it. I I kind of wish I'd had a choice there, but whatever. I get it. They're telling you, Russ, that sometimes you don't have a choice. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh, hey. You get something? Not exactly. Um, oh, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, oh it's all right. Being an asshole. <laughs> you know what happens when you assume all right, all right. <laughs> What are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Maths. <laughs> I need the keys to the Maserati. Wait. To stop the rent though. Oh. Okay. Does she need it or want it? Look in her eyes. What do you think? He doesn't know. And if she needs it, then it's what a secret, for? I really need those keys. Well, a secret. Okay. It's yeah. just for tonight. Candy. I'll be back before two. Do I show her a hand? Wait. This early in the game. Really? Ask her why. why. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, I do. All right. Yep. Yep. Seems okay to me. Seems on the up and up. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. What was the bet for? A grand. A grand. See, I see. I got to think about what an asshole would do. So it's I'm not so much. Yours, you know. I could be an asshole to her, but it would be a bigger. Oh, I can extort her. Do it. Okay. Never mind. Three hundred. <laughs> you said two hundred way too quickly. Wow. See this. This is the kind of thing that like Detroit needed. A little more middle ground. Yeah. 200 in cash tonight. You know what? I'll say okay because the asshole move is toward the Maserati owner. In cash tonight. I kind of wanted to say it. forget it just to ah. see what would happen. Yeah, I want It probably would have ended it. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. Well. <laughs> and think about that. I'm just happy to be screwing over one of the customers. Especially a rich one. We all know it's what you live for. What? It absolutely is. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah. It's probably, no, nothing. Not a scratch, probably okay. Not a stain, nothing. Must be the wind. All right. It was probably just the wind. Car, and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah. Be back here by one. Not a minute later. Yes, sir. Man, we just got had. Or we just got two hundred dollars. Oh, even better, pounds. Mm, <laughs> I love pounds. <laughs> oh wait, this is probably pre-Brexit. Uh, yes. take some pepper spray. Yeah, euros. That's probably like two hundred euros. Is probably like a good three hundred bucks. Yeah. Maybe more. Maybe more. Yeah. Oh. Uh. What for? Now! Okay. I got no problem harming this guy. But if I have junkies hanging out here. Oh. Well, I really would prefer if things didn't go so poorly. Better use the pepper spray on him! <laughs> oh no. 
So glad I grabbed it. As a as a weak spray. Fucking <laughs> idiot. Well, that guy can't see a thing. The fuck. Get on your feet. Ah. He seems pretty okay right now. Now I'm the hostage. Oh no. I get in the car. It's kind of brave what we did. It was. Does it look like I can drive? What the? Oh. You get behind the wheel. Wait, what? Huh? You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly. Oh, what it turns do. out he's allergic to pepper spray. Ah. Uh, let that be a lesson, folks. You never know who you're pepper spraying. Yeah. Just be mindful of your allergies. You could get stigmata. Yeah. Come on, give me a choice. What can we do? Oh. Ugh, those doors. I just want to rip it off. I know. I hate those. What are you gonna do? You gonna gotta do? run! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Oh no! Get back here! Keep going! Go, go, go! <laughs> I saw that thing there. I'm like, I bet I could get away. <laughs> that guy's a terrible shot. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, the number of ways this could have gone so far. <laughs> That's crazy. This is what I want out of these kind of games. Hey, I need a guy from the car park. Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. This is what I want to make. No. <laughs> no, I'm all right, mate. Lost my train. Not anymore. Oh. oh. Shit. Uh, the oops. Train. Leg it. This is running from <laughs> everybody. <laughs> in the fucking car. <laughs> Anytime you get the option to run away, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is great. No, come on, give me the... Oh. Run into the bushes! <laughs> give me the choice to jump out while it's moving. <laughs> okay. I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Forgot. Welcome to the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Do. Just relax. Wait a minute, we're in England, right? Yeah. Why is he driving? Wait, wait. I don't. I don't know. He's on it... the right. Well, look at the license plates. He... Well, no, no, no. It's European, but I don't know if it's England or if it, it might be like. Uh... I don't know, like. England too. Norway were... or something. <laughs> the opposite of real England. I'm assuming England because they all have British accents, but like the credits had a lot. Didn't they have like some, I don't know, like Nordic sounding names or something? Oh, maybe. Or Swedish. It's just a game actually made by people who are like, we hate the foreigners in our country and we made a game about them. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? <laughs> you didn't pepper spray it, did you? <laughs> This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Us? Idiot. Who indeed? Oh. It has to be four people. There's no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. And so are we like getting dragged into a heist? I think so. Is it, his bone is sticking out of his arm. Watch, he's putting gauze around it. One window of opportunity, and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. Need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next. Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Dan Evie doesn't pick up, trying all of that you know, Irish Pete. Hey, hey, now. What you know, I? Pete defines himself as more than just Irish. Let's put a bullet in him. I'm yeah, but he it. doesn't define Pete. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm play cool. I don't intend to as anything now. but. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Steal away! You stay where you are. You said you wouldn't hurt me. Well, I said I wouldn't kill you. Can we just call this like a coward playthrough? <laughs> Please, no! Not good at maths, are you, mate? Not supposed to be. Maths. Maths. Yeah. Plus one. That makes zero. 
Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. So you're probably... Are you serious? Are you gonna oh, that was odd. Oh, yeah. Every, there are a couple little clippy moments. The difference is this guy looks like trouble. It's not perfect. Alright. That's fine. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. That one guy reminds me of somebody, the one that, that picked us up in the car. He feels like, uh... Don't push your look. <sighs> push it! I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the Feels deal. like the guy who played you Rob Stark got it's mixed done. with the... Uh... Who's the awesome guy who played Dread? Uh... Oh, Carl Urban. Yeah. They yeah, met right. a halfway point between them. We'll find us again. Did you ever watch The Boys? Oh, yeah. Dude, good, I watched good. A... I blasted through the entire season. Uh, the day it came out, nice. I put on the first episode, and I, I was just, I, I couldn't stop it. And then try and turn them in. Ooh, what do I do? Mouth shut and take the money. Oh, mouth shut if it means I take the money. Yeah, I'm making money. See, look, we're driving on the left side of the road. This is England. Okay. Well, I assumed it was England because of the. Maybe Maseratis English are just made people. that way. Mystery ladies and difficult choices. You know, maybe that's just like there oh, aren't. Yeah, yeah, true. Italian car or whatever. Maybe that's just how they do things. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choice are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of oh, the that's... for over a thousand years. It's kind of cool to hear somebody who sounds like okay, their so their accent is somewhere between like. So Get it Chinese back. and We're British. Yeah. Thank you, young Gary Oldman. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. She also sounds like she might like her voice sounds like the voice of a a much older study. woman. Yeah. I don't know what it is about it. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Maybe it's just the British thing. Feeling, you know. Maybe. They're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What a piece of pottery. Pottery. Tonight I am. I gotta disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a bunch of dumb stuff. Yeah, we're nothing if not law abiding. Are we really short? The second part of the auction has just begun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just how tall he was against the counter. Yeah. And the fact that he's a, like Nine, ten, about the same height as her. I mean, she's got heels, but still. Nine, <laughs> it's like, Nine, ooh, Thank you. he's a little guy. Nine, to my left. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, no. Little guys are some Nine, of the best four, guys I know. You, True. Looking for 950. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning, I'm selling, 950 once, 950 twice, so for 950 times. I really what was it? This I... marvelous 12th century cabinet. A cabinet. Hidden compartment. Oh. Just try to keep the powder dry. I'm sorry, if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it supposed to bring powder? Sideboard. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you try not to? I relate to this guy. So we come to what I feel must be the... Highlight of our sale this evening, lots 247. Here it is. And to introduce <gasps> it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. One late shift. <gasps> like, what? Hey. Oh. I wonder what makes her an expert. What? Just that little thing? What we have here is an absolutely... Oh, it's obviously from the Ming Dynasty. Example. Why isn't she wearing little finger condoms? Oh, hey, Ming Dynasty, I was right. <laughs> it's always a piece of pottery from the Ming Dynasty. They were the craziest about pottery. Yeah. They got stupid with it. Thank you I don't like that she was not wearing gloves while holding that. Yeah. 
the sale of which the old chandelier builder and me and she was the uh, and she was the, the professional modest to mention it himself has agreed to donate 50 percent of the sale proceeds to the chinese art restoration fund wow all right yeah, you can't afford it what did he say about that and so we should begin the selling thank you katie thank you sebastian and i would like to start the bidding please at two million pounds two million. all right bid we're in pounds you, two million i have to my left uh it's like 20 bucks like you start <laughs> low at the back thank you you, you remember the economy 2015 whenever this is four i'm bid. I hear five. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five, I get 20% of the Thank sale you, price, don't you? The five, I have. Oh, good I thinking. Six. Six, I'm looking for. Six, Wait, that's 800 five, grand. Five, Split between all of us? That doesn't feel like enough. Do I now hear seven. Seven, I have. It's eight. more like it. Seven. Do I hear eight? eight oh, let me bid. Let Go me for bid. It. I will if it comes up. Looking for nine. Do I hear nine? Letter. Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Why is it up to me? I'm not. I'm looking for I just nine met the lady. Five, ladies and gentlemen, nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Yeah, I, and, I, I trust you. Ten we have. We are at eight figures. The fact that you don't get to bid is, uh, ten is, your <laughs> is a bummer. <laughs> to mess with the bidding. So yeah. Do I hear Just imagine all the different ways it could go. Ten five. Ten five I have. Did you ever do the the choose your own adventure Netflix thing? No, no. I wanted to. So that they have the two that I saw. The uh, that's what this feels the like. The Black Mirror one and the uh, the Kimmy Schmidt one. I wonder if we could do that on our, uh, for this channel. Yeah, because that's that's what this feels like. I mean, we, except that one could, there's even more. We could absolutely do it because we can use uh, annotations or cards. No, no, no. I just mean do a playthrough of it. I don't mean put the thing up like that. I thought you meant shoot a movie. Oh no, no, no. I just mean like actually letter. Got a letter. Eleven five twice. I just mean I like play it so. like it's a game oh, and we just you. don't monetize it. I don't know. I'll look into it. it is. Yeah. So do I hear 12 five? I just keep letting it. <laughs> 12 five I'm looking for. 12 five. It's your bit at 12, madam. Looking for 12 five. Uh oh, did we let her go too far? 12 five. 12 five I have. <gasps> Thank you. Was it her job just to five. drive it up? So do I hear 13? Not her job, but it's certainly what she wanted to do. Because we get a we get more money. Are we all out? At twelve five, fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve five one. Twelve five one. Come on, let me push her hand up. Oh. Right for twelve and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. That's like eighty bucks. So we get twenty percent of that, as a group. So that's two point five million, I believe. At twenty percent. Uh, How is two point five million two percent of eighty? Well, maybe that's your problem. Well, Wait, I thought we did twelve point five. That just increased your cut by about twenty five percent. Now that I thought two. So twelve point five million, we get ten percent. Twelve point five like million bucks U.S. Twelve point five billion is one point twenty five million <laughs> times two. It's two point five million pounds. So yeah, eighty bucks. You're right. We're both right. See? Yeah. We're a couple, remember? <gasps> so what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? What do we do, people? Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> what an eventful episode this was. I I remembered nothing about this. <laughs> uh, like, let us know what you nothing. would do, guys. And you'll find out what we decide to do tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, tune back in. We'll see you then. Bye!